Good morning, YouTube. It's your old pal Jim up in East Tennessee, the upper part. Got my guard dog Rosie, who's on standby to let me know if anything comes around. Actually, poor old Rosie got scared, scared to death of the neighbor's dogs last night, so she didn't want to take her potty break before bedtime, and she made a little mess for me this morning. But she hit her pad, so I didn't I didn't thump her too bad. So today is what day is it? Tuesday. I'm on vacation till Monday. So hope y'all are having a good week. Hope you're doing some prepping related stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I just happened to go to the grocery store. Uh, we have a price list. It could be IGA in your area. They had the Campbell's chunky soups various kinds for a dollar eighty a can and the dole pineapple chunks for a dollar fifty a can so I thought that was a pretty good deal so I added it even though I got plenty of soups you know if when you go to the store you're always looking for deals to add to add to your pantry so if you have one of those stores local it's a pretty good deal I also picked up some uh, more rice. I'll put that away later today. I've got five more pounds. I've got eight pounds of beans, pintos, and four pounds of black beans that I'm going to put away for storage today. Not sure if I'm going to vacuum seal it or use my two liter bottles that I wash out real good. Probably my two liter bottles. I've sort of got in the groove on that, as you can see over here. I have a bunch, that's part of them. Most of them's in another shelf. Uh, I'm still encouraging everybody to get the Keystone uh, canned meats. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna use any for a while. I'm still using the ground beef and stuff that I bought when I got half a beef last year. So I need to finish that up or can it or something. So, you got to add a little bit at a time when you can afford it, and especially in this economy when you can find a good deal. I encourage you to shop for deals and make your dollar go as far as it can. Because uh, Bidenomics ain't working out too good for most people. So, what else is on the agenda today? I'm going to get the Christmas stuff ready for the boys to put under the tree. And then I'm going to probably relax a little bit today since I'm on vacation. So we've got one boy sick with COVID. He seems to be feeling a lot better today. Still giving him uh, ibuprofen and Tylenol, alternating it every four hours. So he seems no fever since yesterday. So that's a good thing. But uh, the news isn't looking good. I saw a video of all the migrants waiting to be processed in Eagle Pass, Texas. It's a joke, we're being invaded. All these military age men, used to be, you know, the kids and families coming up now, it seems it's military age men from everywhere, the Middle East, China. Pretty dang old long walk from there, ain't it? Wonder how they're getting to Mexico to come in. Curious, isn't it? No, I'm not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer, but put two and two together. And then, want the illegals in the military when the time comes. But I don't think they'd have any problem pointing them at me and you, would they? Just a thought. Just a thought that goes through my head. Up there's a scary place to be sometimes. But on the bright side, it's almost Christmas. I hope you are going to have a wonderful Christmas. I am going to work Christmas, but that's okay. We're going to do ours here with the, uh, the boys Saturday. So, oh, I also, I meant to show you this. Uh, a guy who I watch his videos sent me a Christmas card for me and Rosie and then sent a smaller Christmas card for the boys. I got it in the mail yesterday and forgot about it. But he sent us, oh, sorry, I'm a horrible cameraman, some stickers. Let me turn them upside. So, 
Mr. Gary, we appreciate it. Got some stickers and a refrigerator magnet. So if you're not subscribed to GBL, the old church, Five Acre Homestead, Gary puts out some good stuff. He's a really upbeat human being. So I suggest checking his channel out. <coughs> and thank you, Gary, for the refrigerator magnet and the stickers and the Christmas cards. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. So that's it for today, folks. I'm going to get off here because I've got Christmassy stuff to do and I have some beans and rice to put away and, and I procrastinate, procrastinated enough. Uh, you better keep prepping. You better add to your pantry or your food stocks as much as you can afford. I think my next focus is going to be on uh, staples, uh, salt, sugar, flour, maybe some more wheat berries. So that's where my focus is going to turn to. The next time I do a prepping run, I need some more five gallon buckets. And I like the gamma seal lids for mine, the mylar bags and the big oxygen absorbers, which I have here somewhere for my buckets. Uh, they're in this mess somewhere. Moving sucks. You think you, you have everything organized to know where everything's at and then you move and you don't know where nothing's at. So, but it'll all work out. So y'all enjoy your day. Have a blessed day. Have a great rest of your week. I'll talk to you here in a few days. And uh, if you're looking for information, I still highly recommend the crisis report every night. Uh, I went to bed last night before it was on, but I'm getting ready to watch it, the replay. And New York Prepper, NY Prepper puts out some good stuff. And Marfugel. So that's it. So let's remember, let's go Brandon. Let's go Vols. FJB. Don't be scared. Be prepared. And close the damn border. Adios, friends and neighbors. Y'all take care.